Now come to the measurement of density of irregular solids. First of all, I am going to measure the density of a stone using measuring cylinder. Measuring cylinder is an instrument used to measure volume of a liquid in milliliters. Okay. Now the measure of the density of a stone involves two steps. Okay. In step number one, we measure the mass of the stone. Okay. And uh, we use beam balance to measure the mass. Okay, here we measure the mass of the stone, okay, and say the mass is m, okay, and the second step is measurement of volume. Here we are using measuring cylinder, so First of all, take a liquid okay, in the measuring cylinder up to a certain height and read the volume, okay. uh, say V1, okay. V1 is the volume of the liquid contained in the cylinder. Okay. Now immerse the stone completely inside the liquid when you do so the stone displaces volume okay the stone will displace the liquid equal to its volume okay and due to which the level of the liquid rises up in the measuring cylinder and read the new volume Say it is V2. Initially, the liquid level is at V1, and finally, it is at V2. So, V2 minus V1 is the volume displaced by the stone, which is equal to the volume of the stone itself. Okay, so V2 minus V1 is equals to the volume of stone okay and m is the mass of stone now we can calculate density of the stone mass divided by volume okay so density of a stone will be equal to mass m divided by volume that is v2 minus v1 Imagine the mass of the stone is 32 grams. Okay, when you measure the mass of the stone using beam balance, it comes out to be 32 gram. And uh, initial volume of the liquid is say 30 milliliter. Okay, and when you immerse the stone completely inside the liquid the liquid level rises to 50 ml okay okay now put the values of m v1 v2 in this formula you will get 32 divided by 50 minus 30 okay 50 minus 30 gram per cubic centimeter okay and uh, it is 32 divided by 20 which is equals to 1.6 gram per centimeter cube okay 1.6 gram per centimeter cube is the density of stone okay Noted down.